fabulous Friday, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Welcome to the regular chapter meeting of SG International Dynamic Speakers Club. It is Good Friday and also public holiday. Easter is a time of celebration. As such, we're having a special meeting tonight with the theme of excellence. Just some housekeeping rules before we start. We encourage everyone to turn on your videos during the meeting. Please mute your microphone when not speaking to help minimize noise disruptions. Do participate actively and enjoy the meeting. I hope you have an excellent time tonight. I shall now hand over the time to our Toastmaster of the day, distinguished Toastmaster, Alicia Chia, to commence the meeting. Over to you, Toastmaster Alicia. Thank you, Toastmaster Patricia. A very good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Fantastic, fabulous, and excellent Friday to one and all. Welcome to SG International Dynamic Speakers Chapter Meeting. My name is Alicia Chia, and I'll be your friendly Toastmaster of the day. As our SAA has mentioned, tonight's theme is excellent. <laughs> this refers to X or Easter. And when we say excellent, we are referring to also something very good, great, or high quality. And it could be things like giving best compliments to your friend, to your colleague. And there are also other words that are similar to excellent. You may have heard of extraordinary, exceptional, brilliant, exquisite, magnificent, distinguished, such as distinguished Toastmaster, DTM. Fine, outstanding, exemplary, and even incredible. So this is a very strong word, mainly used for things, people, and actions. And we are referring to things above the average. Now in life, there's many ways of living a life of excellence. Many people have wrote about living a life of excellence. Then I've done a research and there are these top ways of being living a life of excellence. First, you may like to discover your purpose. Well, when I was young, I never had a purpose. I just followed my big sister. So where did he get me? So now that I'm older, I now have a purpose, which is to inspire people. You could also follow your passion. Set some goals in your work life. Or maybe even write a fine handbook. Of course, when it comes to thinking, you need to have the right mindset. And lots of people also say, create a bucket list, bucket list of eggs then, and get mentors. Even for our club here, we have also appointed mentors for our fellow members, for them to grow and develop. And finally, one big thing you need to remember or in our pursuit of excellence, we also need to stop worrying too much because worry makes you fearful. Right, in the meantime, let's hear from some of our role players who will be supporting this meeting tonight, what the secret recipes are for building excellence in their lives. First, we have our lovely SAA, Patricia Tay. Toastmaster Patricia Tay has been in the early childhood field for over 20 years. As a mother of three, daughters, she believes that the joy of learning should never stop. Toastmaster Patricia, 
Could you tell us more about your role as an SAA? And then what is your secret for building excellence in your life? Over to you, Toastmaster Patricia. Thank you, Toastmaster Alicia. In the past, I was very timid and I was very worried about learning. After joining Toastmasters Club, I have developed in self-confidence and I've decided that to keep on learning is the way to go. As long as we keep on learning, we will be on our way towards excellence. Next time, I will do even better and it will just keep getting better. And why do I do this? Because in doing so, I hope to encourage people around me to also keep doing better. So yes, excellence is a big word and we must all work towards it. I encourage you all to hang a word excellence near your work desk or perhaps at the door of your bedroom. All the way towards excellence, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Patricia. Next up is our timer, Toastmaster Edward Young. Toastmaster Edward Young is an IT professional from Belize. He loves public speaking, cycling, playing chess, and RPGs. Now, Toastmaster Edward, could you share, please share with us your role as a timer? And also, what is your secret recipe for building excellence in your life? Over to you, Edward. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Mr. President, Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. As your timer today, I'll be keeping track as to how we progress throughout the course of the meeting in accordance with our agenda. I will be notifying the speakers of their time and how they have progressed through the presentation by notifying them with the green card, the yellow card and the red card. That will be my background in this case since we are virtual. As for achieving excellence in my life, I believe in creating win-win scenarios in every situation that I'm in. Everyone has a, a desired outcome and if I can help them achieve their outcome while achieving mine, it synergizes us and creates great relationship. I also believe in being proactive I, I believe that we should always take initiative to achieve whatever outcome is most desirable for the, for the most. And ultimately, I believe excellence comes from improving your skill set, improving yourself, eating healthy, exercising. If you are an engineer, you're going to read engineering books. If you're a doctor, you're going to read medical journals. You will continuously sharpen your skill set. That is how you develop excellence in your life. Topic, Matt. Toastmaster, please. Thank you, Toastmaster Edward. Then we also have our lovely table topic master, DTM Lee Buckley. DTM Lee loves traveling and meeting people, learning and sharing the different cultures and cuisines globally. To quote Rohit, the best way to multiply your happiness is to share it with others. Toastmaster Lee, could you please share with us about your role as the Table Topic Master? And what is your secret recipe for building excellence in your life? Over to you, Toastmaster Lee. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. G'day fellow Toastmasters and guests. We have a table topic session with a twist tonight. It's a murder mystery game where there will be eggs involved, of course, but there'll be other things involved as well. Now, I would like to invite all of you to be guests at my dinner party. Unfortunately, I've only got four slots left. So be quick. Please put your hand up if you would like to be a dinner guest at my party. Excellent. And I will send you some details. In terms of excellence, I believe in sharing with others and bringing others up with you as well. So it's no point when you are on top. It's very lonely up there. But if you bring others with you, we can all share and learn together. 
And that's my secret recipe for excellence or excellence. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Table topic master Lee. Last but not least, we also have our e-karaoke excellence ex exercise dance instructor or dancer size master, Jennifer Lim IP3. Toastmaster Jennifer Lim's friend, friends all call her hot mama. Toastmaster Jennifer Lim likes reading to gain knowledge, singing to improve her vocal variety and dancing to keep fit. Now, Toastmaster Jennifer, could you tell us more about your role as this dance, dancer size master? What is your secret recipe for building excellence in your life? Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Toastmaster of the evening, Alicia. Well, I'm not a master in the first place. It was just given to me like shove it in my throat. <laughs> the word master. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I, I'm someone who loves to dance. And I, I take dancing to keep fit, nothing else. I don't do ballroom dancing or anything like that. So because I was asked to lead the exercise, the dance size. For me, I have missed this for a long, long time, and I really enjoy it. And I hope you do enjoy it later with me and keep fit together. Excellence in life, we can never reach it. We can only try. Um, through our journey in life, we have ups and downs. The only thing we can do is to learn from our ups and our downs. And from that, we try to thrive towards excellence. At every stage, we learn. Back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jennifer Lim. Now, tonight we have a very exciting program. And we will kick off with our mini workshop from our workshop speaker, DTM Kanan Shankara, which will be about 15 minutes, then followed by a 10 minute break, which will be led by our special murder mystery table topic segment, and then another break. And finally, we have our e-karaoke segment to end off the public holiday. Now our first, now before I introduce our Workshop speaker, everybody who has not shared their secret recipe for excellence, you may type it in the chat group and I'll share it later in the meeting. Now, our first workshop speaker tonight is DTN Kanan Shankara. DTN Kanan Shankara loves to travel. He lives in Baltimore, Maryland, USA with his wife, Janaki Kanan. They have one son who is studying in John Hopkins. He started his Toastmaster journey in late 2012, eager to improve his speaking skills. He would like to give speeches without any preparation. And Kanan's goal is to speak without any grammatical mistakes. Now let us put our hands together to welcome our workshop speaker, DTM Kanan Shankara, who will be speaking on navigating pathways. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. How many of you know what are the core values of Toastmasters? Very simple, always remember your word, rise. If you remember rise, you know, R stands for respect, integrity, service, and excellence. Today, the theme of our meeting, the excellence, she has put an excellence to make sure that Easter is also celebrated. The purpose of this workshop for us 
is to excel in pathways. We are all going to be, by following the best practices in pathways, we are all going to excel in pathways. Little bit of ground rules. What I want to share here is that, first of all, I will be sharing a presentation. Very simple presentation, just an introduction to pathways. Then I will go to the Toastmaster site and take you on the job how to do pathways, what are the best practices. That way you will also learn how to navigate the Toastmaster screen. At the time also you can ask questions. Keep your, uh, when I am doing the pathways in interactive mode in the Toastmaster screen, you can ask me question then and there. And then there is a separate 10 minutes question answer session is there. The, Format is 40 minutes presentation and 10 minutes question answers. Now let us focus on pathways. I know it is almost four years after the pathways is introduced. Still, most of the club in US are very aversive to pathways because they can't take change. I am not saying the pathways is the best curriculum. But this is the only curriculum that we have in Toastmasters. Toastmasters have moved from the conventional competent communicators and, uh, and uh, competent leader to the pathways curriculum. So we need to focus on pathways only. I, I know that still people are feeling, okay, uh, this is a very difficult job, etc. In US, I know that most of us has embraced. Today, what will be the agenda is, I'm going to show pathways introduction. I'm going to show how you can select a path and how you can take a project, how to keep the evaluation, how to give evaluation, both are there. And I'm also going to talk about the best practices in pathways. Then there will be a question answer, actually 10 minutes. It was a big, another session. So it says half forever, but it will have 10 minutes. Earlier, we used to have the competent communicator and competent leader. This was the, it was introduced somewhere in the 70s and this was going on for over 20 years. I, I think most of you know, most of you are aware of the competent uh, communicators, advanced communicators, and then competent leaders, etc. Now it's a digital world. You can Take the Toastmaster meeting. You can attend the Toastmaster meeting from your cell phone, from your car. You don't have to go to the in-person meeting. You can be in your school or you can be even in your basement. You can be in Singapore. Lee can be from Australia. Kanan can be in US and we can all meet virtually. That is very easy to be done in pathways. When you say pathways, if you go to your hill, down, downhill, and if you want to go for trekking, there are many ways. You, there is not a set one particular way. You can see that you can go on the left, you can go on the right. There are so many tracks you can follow. Same way, pathways also, we can follow so many tracks. There is nothing called one track. I'm going to show you how to access a base camp and how you can, today, in today, I am not going to show the base camp manager but I, because Basecamp manager is a restricted item only for three people, VP education, secretary, and president. They can access and approve the pathways completion. Other than that, I am going to show you the pathway so that every one of us as a member in Singapore Dynamic Club can excel. Each path, each path generally has got 14 projects, 14. 10 are required paths, and four are elective paths, by elective projects, sorry. 10 required projects and four elective projects. You can choose different, different projects for each path. So if you are taking two paths, let's say, in the first path, in level three, you can take different paths, like I can talk about inspire audience or connect with storytelling. In another path, you can have different things using effective visual aids. You can choose whatever you want to accept. I would encourage you to try every one, everything. Now I'm going to tell you about some competencies. 
what is a competency this will help you to choose the right path see some of you may be joining toastmasters for public speaking some of you want to improve communication skills some says i know communication i want leadership i want to be excel in leadership so what happens is based on what you want whether everybody wants to be a public speaker okay so that is common one will be common for everyone everyone when you join toastmaster why you want to join toastmaster if you ask them i want to be a good speaker that is the primary goal so everybody want to be public speaker let us say that and there are other competencies okay when i say competencies it is the value that we derive from the path okay that is what competency i'm going to show you your path here i let me move this here are you seeing this here it is not hurting you right now so you can see that every path has got some core values core competencies if you take dynamic leadership it focus other than the other than the public speaking you leave it it is focus on interpersonal communication and leadership whereas if you take engaging humor it focus on only speaking because humor just gives speaking there is no leadership there you can be a humorous speaker if you take presentation mastery also it is the same thing you know how to give presentations if you take team collaboration it goes with the management see the values that it is going to give you this will give you pitch path to choose whether you want to excel in communication whether you want to excel in leadership whether strategic leadership when i say leadership i am talking about as providing strategies etc for the team management is day to day management operations and management people call that when when the president of the club provide the strategies for the club whereas the operations is handled by the vp education vp management etc they provide they provide recommendation but the strategies are provided by the president so i am telling you by taking on the, by seeing the core competencies it will help us to choose the right path that we want okay and let me let us also let me also tell you one more thing if you see that there are five levels this is common in toastmasters first level is the fundamentals there is no change second level is learning your style there is no change first two are common for everything because they want to have a strong uh, base strong uh, pl platform then it changes 3 4 5 depending on the path all the projects are changing okay so first two or the base and 3 4 5 or the level the, those level changes path to path remember that okay i am going to show you why it is not why is it okay five levels i said mastering fundamentals what are the names first is the fundamentals then is a the learning then increasing your knowledge is the elective building skills and you will become expert these are the five steps five levels all right there are so many resources i am going to share this later let us focus now on the pathways and what are the best practices let us before i share i will also tell okay let me go to the uh, toastmaster site and then i will share you the best practices one minute mm, where is my screen uh, one minute where is my toastmaster screen Can you all see my screen? Toastmaster screen. Can you see my Toastmaster site? Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, if you log in to the Toastmaster site, all right. The second tab is a pathways. Okay. If you go to the pathways, if you are a person who knows pathways very well, you can go to the base camp directly. all right you can go to the base camp or you can choose a path i want to know 
I want to ask you one question. You can tell me how many of you are already in pathways. Let me stop sharing here for one minute and ask this question. How many of you are already familiar in the navigation of the pathway site? Just raise your hand if you are already familiar in pathways. I think only one I am seeing. So you are all not familiar. So I'm going to show you. It's not a big deal. We can learn. It's very easy. All right. Let me share now once again. Okay. The first thing in, in this is if you are familiar with the path selection or if you are not familiar with the path selection. Some people are familiar. They know what they want. Some people are like me. I don't know what I want. I'm confused. So I want to ask the computer to help me. Let us do both. Okay. Let me go to path selection. See here, I do not know anything. I do not know anything. I am not going to worry about it. The, the one important thing the path can be in English, it can be in Chinese, it can be in Tamil, it can be in Dutch, it can be in Spain, it can be in Portugal. I think traditional Chinese and there are two types of Chinese. Also, there are two Chinese out there. Some parts are there, two uh, different parts are there. Okay. But in Singapore dynamic clubs, we are following English. So let us stick to the English one. All right. Now, there are people who always want manual. That costs $25 extra. I don't want you to pay $25 extra. Go for the digital thing and then you can print it the same manual without any problem. So don't go for the printed material. All right. Go for the digital one. All right. If you know, if you know, I want to go for the digital, you can choose a path or you can take an assessment. If you know, I want to go directly for presentation mastery, you can directly choose presentation mastery. It will give you all the option. You can choose that. There are 11 parts I told you already. But if you are confused, you can go and take an assessment here. Can you see that assessment? You can, it will ask you some questions. There is no right or wrong. I will, in the interest of time, uh, I will just skip that. Okay, otherwise I will do that. Uh, let me see. Continue. I am going to show you how to take the assessment. It is going to ask so many questions in English. You can see that. It will ask you, hey, what you want to become? Do you want to become a public speaker? Do you want to become a communicator? Or do you want a leadership? Tell me what you want. It is asking you based on your goals based on what competencies you want to excel, it is going to give recommendation. And another thing I want to show you, the pathways is going to recommend what path you want to choose based on your requirement. It is up to us to choose or to ignore. That makes sense? Oh, did I close that? One minute, let me start. It is going to ask, oh, let us put public speaking. Let me put leadership. Let me put uh, uh, networking. I'm just giving a random. Anything can be there, okay? Now, if you see that, it is going to ask so many questions. Mm. All right. Can you all see my screen? Why this is uh, going down? I'm not able to move this one right. One minute, I am having challenge. I am taking assessment, continue. I want to move it up. Uh, okay, start. I am not able to move today. Mm, one minute. I am having a technical challenge here, one minute. Uh, let me move this. Okay, let me check. Mm, the site is not moving. One minute. Let me stop sharing, move it, and then come back here. I don't know why it is not able to move. Take assessment, continue. 
I when you open the pop up so there is one scroll bar to the right maybe if you can scroll down so then it will work i guess yeah i am trying that's what i tried and that sc- scroll bar is not w- opening properly it should move otherwise it is not moving also the screen is not moving let me try to move the screen normally it will move one minute let me go down uh take assessment continue or maybe zooming out in the browser uh, let me one minute let me share you tell me what i should do i uh, it will not normally come like this i don't know why it is different today let me show you not this one uh here here mm no this is on 1 minute sorry all right i need to take assessment normally it will pop up it will move i am able to move the screen i am not able to move no problem let me start the assessment i am taking three things it should continue yes, so there is a scroll bar to the right if you can just uh, can you scroll ah, okay. that down? I got it. Yes, I got it. thank you all right now i have picked three sorry i i should have pressed here i i was trying here no problem it was a problem for me not in the system okay i am going next it is going to ask me which is important in this sorry for the break the two minutes technical challenge it is asking which one is more relevant for your per- personal or professional goals you may say i want to be a public speaking or i may be a coaching i am saying coaching why speaker i want to coach people you can change this any time okay you can choose like this you can see how many percentage complete learning about coaching you can choose whatever there is no right answer okay once again uh, uh, i you can say unsure i am just putting random i am not going to take this you can choose any answer you want based on your requirement okay this will take maybe 3 2 minutes or 3 minutes based on your answers but if you are not familiar you can read and say that it may take 5 minutes that's all you can choose whatever answers it is going to recommend you that's what i'm going to show you now okay all the questions you need to answer i think i completed all right now it is saying recommended is motivational strategies because i said i want to coach it says recommended motivational strategies but i can choose that path recommended by the computer or i say i don't care you have given me a recommendation but i don't want to choose a recommendation i can say leadership development it is up to us to take what you want but the compute the pathway system gave you a idea which one will be good for you is that okay that is what the assessment once you select motivational strategies it is going to if you are the first newer newer to the toastmaster you get one path free so you you don't have to pay anything but subsequent the first path every time you choose your path you have to pay 20 dollars same like before you have to pay for the manual here you are paying 20 dollars for each path all right now let us go to the pathways i am going to show you the base camp here you watch let us say that from one place to another place to go there are so many ways you can i am going to choose from uh, i don't know uh, you may not be aware of us let me pick one singapore i don't know much of singapore i know only few places from airport to go to the china town that could be one way to go via highway or there could be many other ways right same way in pathways also there are many ways you can reach a site i am going to show you the base camp base camp is the starting place for pathways okay if you see that there are three things i am going to go one by one the last one 
if you are all able to see tutorials and resources you don't need any guidance go to the tutorials ask any question you want all the informations are there every information is stored in the resources you don't require kanan you don't require lee buckley or you don't require alicia you can go and choose whatever you want or you are late for the meeting i always tell every toastmaster send your evaluation to the evaluator if you are a speaker send your evaluation it is not vpe's job alicia is doing a great job you need to the speaker need to send the evaluation document to the evaluator this is very important and the speech detail but nobody does that but in case you are at 9 o'clock you are in the singapore uh, singapore uh, toastmasters you can go to the speech evaluation tab you all the things are listed alphabetically you can choose whatever evaluation document you want and send it to your evaluator every project evaluation document is here so it is not rocket science so it is very easy it is clearly tabulated you can go here press any one say i want to say evaluation and feedback it gives you immediately very simple for me i have to request for you it is coming you already completed is saying but that's okay launch it is it will go you it will immediately give you the tablet you can download you can share you can do that this is simple evaluation document all right now let us go back to the those master said i don't want this thing now i will go to the now i am going to approach this to the second tab okay let me go to the second tab and i will show you the same thing available so now you are in the base camp again you are going to give you a project okay you can go to the path this is where this is the initial route okay this is the normal route where you go to pathways learning okay i am going to choose my path i will say innovative planning i am giving an example okay any path you can choose i i taken wrong path I, i will show you other path uh, sorry that is completed i want to show you your path which is not completed persuasive influence this is a path okay if you see that there is a level 1 can you all see the screen level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 all the paths are here you can go and ask for details it is listing you all the level 1 paths there is a ice breaker there is a evaluation and feedback there is a reception presenting four projects because evaluation feedback has got two projects you all know i am going to start with ice breaker the moment you start with the ice breaker it is asking you to launch you la you can launch this very simple way make sure your path, path uh, what you can pop up or enabled okay it is going to give you a project okay you can start beginning you can review you can review or if you are like me you need only um printed document because some people like only printed document some people like uh, some people like um online some people like printed document you can choose that every project it will ask you they want to track your progress so before giving the process before even joining toastmaster i have not given any path so i am i am going to access assess myself honestly this is our assess you, you don't have to be you don't have to give all five for you i am a person so i am saying oh i am i don't know anything so i am giving you all one because i have not started all right i am giving my access okay now it is, you can read this manual it is going to take 5 minutes there are stories everything is here okay you can then after doing this after giving the speech here you can print the project you can see there print my project this will also give you the complete project if you want to print it you don't have to pay 25 dollars that's what i have said okay you can do that 
or you can go back and you can say that I don't need to print. You can give all the things and then you give a speech. Once you have given the speech, you need to complete this again. That way it will close your paths. Okay. What happens is now I don't want to complete here. It, it will put a tick. What I, I will show you how it will work. Okay. It will put a tick. Once you complete all the path, you can create the level one. It is not available now. It is not available now. It will give level one completion tab. That will give a notification to the VP education to approve your level one. Understand? Like that, every project you need to complete. For level one, there are four projects. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, any question on this so far? In this, because this is very important. You can unmute yourself and ask me any question in this. If you have any questions, because this is very, very important. This is where the crux of the pathways is here. So I have a question here. Uh, hello, mm. Rudraksh here. So yeah. uh, when you say that you, uh, during the project, you will be provided with the speech. So to whom will we uh, provide that speech? I mean, no, one, once you see, you did, 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 I showed you the, uh, uh, once I, I showed you the things, right? This is your project. Okay. In this project, you will be watching this project. Okay. By, uh, by reading this project, by familiarizing your project, you have to, sign up for a speaking. If you are an icebreaker speech, you need to sign up in Singapore Dynamic Speakers for the icebreaker speech for four to six minutes. Okay. You will give that speech. It can be anything. Icebreaker can be about you or about anything. You can talk about your work or about your uh, family, anything. You have to give a speech for four to six minutes. Okay. Then only it is okay. complete. You understand? Yes. So, will it be face to face, or uh, we just have to record ourselves and send? No, no, that? no, no. It has to be in a club, in a club meeting, in a club meeting. You are, I think, are you, are you a member of Toast? Are you a guest who attends regularly to, to uh, Singapore Toastmasters? No, actually, this is my first meeting. Okay. There is a prepared speeches. You come out and there is a segment. Today it's a workshop. Normally there is a prepared speeches. Three speakers will be giving speeches. From three, the three okay. different speakers will be giving speeches for five to seven minutes. So you need to plan, you need to sign up, you need to become a member, you need to sign up um, and then you take the credit. If you are a guest, you will not get the credit because only this is available. This pathways is available only for members. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, um, Mr. Timer, how much time I have? Am I on green? Yes, Karan, you're on green. Okay, no problem. No problem. I want to plan myself. Okay, this is on this. Okay, now I need to also tell you some best practices. One of the best practices, one of the best practices I already showed you is that you need to have the evaluation. I think Singapore is not follow, following that very rigidly. Thanks to Willie, but if you are a if you are a Toastmaster, if you are a speaker, you need to provide the evaluation document to the evaluator at least one day before, because that evaluator is supposed to read the project, familiarize, and then give the evaluation. One good thing in Pathways is the evaluation document. I am going to show you one evaluation document and quickly go through the. Um, one minute, go quickly go through a couple of steps. Okay, I, I will take this evaluation source. Here also I can take the evaluation document, okay? See here, if you see the evaluation in the previous, uh, this is one go very good thing in uh, in Pathways. If you are sincere, if, you, if the evaluator is sincere, the evaluator can write what the speaker excelled in, where the speaker needs to work on, how to challenge the speaker. These are the three areas you can write. And there are evaluation thing, criteria given. Each speech is different. Mostly same, but each speech is different. You can give 
you can on each skill like clarity vocal variety eye contact gestures uh, awareness comfort level everything you can give a rating and you can say uh, clarity you are too fast you need to slow down anything you can give all right these comments are very important for the speaker so you have to provide those things very religiously okay this is very very important okay why you need this evaluation document important if the evaluator you sorry if the speaker is a member for multiple clubs i i am not sure how many people are having a membership in multiple clubs i know i am one of the member who is in multiple clubs i know willy also is in in person and here i know lee may be in couple of clubs so what happens is you need to track your evaluation document you need to make sure all your evaluation documents are stored earlier the T T toastmaster international wanted the evaluation document to be stored in the website now they do not have the power, they do not have the resources because the server crashed immediately they have requested us to show within our computer but remember your level completion and yours can be audited remember that that is very important so i am going to show you how i am doing so this is one of the best way so that i am going to show you within my computer if you see that we move this to a corner i am going to show you every document i have stored very clearly uh, this is a, one of the best way which is recommended by toastmaster if you see the online evaluation can you all see my screen right i am going to i am i'm showing every page everything if you see that when the all the evaluations are tracked you can see that this was given in singapore uh, this was a i can't uh, see that huh i can't see that i can just see the pathway page one minute let me uh, that means i may have to stop sharing and i may have to go back one minute let me show Can you see me now? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I think I have to stop. I I don't know why it is, is always happening in my computer. I have to stop sharing and start this one. No problem. Okay. If you see the Toastmaster, I have all the online evaluation clearly documented, and all the evaluation document are stored when it was given, where it was given. You can see that <coughs> this was given by Lee Buckley. i store it very clearly everything i store it very clearly okay this was given in royal rotos master on 22nd of february if somebody ask me i have all the evaluation document okay i keep it track this was given by julie kettes one of the evaluator i keep it so keep yourself all the things by the path keep all the evaluation document stored because any time ti can audit yourself or another way of doing i also track my speeches here if you see that i also want to show you this one minute let me go to the top <clears throat> i also want to show you this this is also important i give the speech completion detail by path if you see that path i give each statement this is also required for you to so that you will remember i put it like this this is a path i give the project name project name this is to give it in case vp education asked project name title of the speech which club number i gave when i gave club name who was the evaluator so that this is why it is required in case in case <clears throat> the vp education is not aware is not from your club vp education may ask hey i need to i need to check um i need to check uh if the vp education ask any question you may be able to share that that is the purpose of the storage okay you need to store it because it used to be on the club website the ti website it crashed so they asked us to share it within our to keep it within our our system and then share it when required so very important you all know file explorer that is a basic thing in computers keep all your evaluation document and speech detail there now i think i completed 
most of the things about what I want to cover. Now I am going to open for questions. Okay, I have, I think I have 10 to 15 minutes for question and answers. Ask your question and I can share and explain whichever way you want to go. Okay, any questions? Hi, hey, Kanant. I have a question. Yeah, go for it. Uh, uh, just now you showed about the evaluation, right? So just wonder uh, who will be doing the evaluation and will we be getting only one slide of evaluation or um, from many other participants? You can see, you, you, you minimum one, okay? You can ask for multiple people, but generally in the club, the club, if you ask, See, if today's agenda, if you see, okay, not today, if you see any Singapore dynamic speakers agenda, for each speaker, there is an evaluator assigned. It was assigned, it will be normally assigned by Wednesday. Billy is doing a great job. I'm seeing that the agenda is finalized by Wednesday. So you know who are your, who is your evaluator. You will be able to send your evaluation document to that evaluator and ask them to evaluate. The evaluator needs to read the project and familiarize, then give the evaluation. That way they also learn. So there's a learning is both ways. But in our club, there are many distinguished Toastmasters. I know uh, Billy is a distinguished Toastmaster. Lee Buckley is there, Alicia is there. They're all experienced. So no problem in having the evaluation. So if you are, if you, you can also ask for a specific evaluator if you are comfortable with. And I think your VP education will be able to help with that. Mm, okay, thank you. Okay, and you can ask for multiple evaluation in case you want. Okay. Any other question? Yes. Mm. What's the difference between launch and activate? Uh, okay, activate is that path when you, when you want to activate. That is the terminology they use. Suppose you want to use the level one. Okay, I, let me share. It's not a big deal. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Each path, activate. First time it will come as activate. Okay, I want to activate. Then it will come launch for the project. So I have activated that project. Now I am going to launch that project. It is going to open a screen. And it will say that um, the project details it will provide. So first time it will come as activate. And then once a the moment you activated that project, that means you are on that project now. You are working on that project. It means that it is you are on that project now. Okay. Uh, then you can launch it. You can use it. You can print it. You can do whatever you want. You can learn it. You can do whatever you want. Until you launch it, it will be in the activate mode. That means you have not even reached that place. Okay, did you see that? Here, everything will be activate. The moment you click, it will become launch. First time, still this is not touched. Okay, level two, I have not touched any of those. Still, I am not, still I'm in level one only. <clears throat> still I'm in level one only. I am working on icebreaker and evaluation feedback. Two project. So by looking at the launch, you know that what project you are working on at this point of time. Does that answer your question? Angela, does that answer your question? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? How do you send it back, your evaluation? Do you have to print it out and send it back or can you send it back directly? How does that work? In TI, you cannot send it from the site. You cannot send it back. You cannot send it. You have to use the, you can use the, you have to print it and attach it in the email and send it to them nowadays. Okay. Earlier it used to be, now it has got the, I told you, know, the TI website got crashed. Now they are encouraging you to send that, the evaluation document through email. That's why I store all my evaluation document religiously. Uh, in my computer, but you have to also do that. 
Thank you. How did you how did you get this information that the system had changed? Because I never got that information. Which change? You just said they've changed it. You used to be able to store it within the site. I, I was a pathways trainer. I, ha, I was initially a pathways trainer. I'm a pathways trainer for three districts. District U, District 18, and District 21. So we were in the earlier batch to test the computers to test the system. Ah, thank you. That's why we learned. We were the guinea pigs. I think it is. Uh, uh, I think it is time. I am going to give my email and my phone number anytime. I I am a member of Singapore Toastmasters. You can reach me anytime you feel you can ask me. I will be able to solve your question. Other than that, you can reach me at my email. I am going to share it, or you can reach my phone. Only two things I did not cover is for the base camp manager how to send batches how to track the projects and how to do the approval. Only these three things, that is only for the base camp manager, I did not cover that I can talk to them later, okay? Other than that, if you have any questions for the members, you can reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you all and back to you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, DTM Kanan Shankara. It was really an excellent presentation of Pathways. And I'm very sure our new members as well as guests and even experienced members like me learn something from your presentation. We would like to invite you next time to train the more advanced uh, EXCO members on how to navigate the pathways for EXCO. And now the time is 10.10. We'd like to let everyone have a 10 minute break and be back at 1020 for our exciting next segment, which is the mystery murder segment, table topic segment led by DTM Lee Buckley. So see you guys later at 1020. Thank you. Welcome back everyone to the second segment of tonight's meeting, the table topic segment. And for tonight, we have a very interesting segment led by DTM Toastmaster Lee Buckley for the murder mystery segment. So table, top, table topic master Lee Buckley loves traveling and meeting people, learning and sharing the different cultures and cuisines globally. To quote Rohit, the best way to multiply your happiness is to share it with others. So over to you, table topic master Lee. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, distinguished Toastmaster Alicia Cha. Good day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Are you excited for the second segment of our meeting? Unmute yourself and say, yes, I'm ready. Yes, yes, yes. My Ooh. egg already broken. Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yes. We have table topics with a twist tonight. We will be playing a murder mystery game. And when I say table topics with a, a twist, it's because you have to speak impromptu as well. Okay? And then that and allows you to get into character with your vocal variety and your acting skills. So are we ready to commence our game? Yes. yes. Woohoo. Woohoo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the murder mystery. It was a cold and dark stormy night, but the butler invited 10 important guests for a dinner. It was at his mansion that night. Everyone had to come dressed in black tie. All of a sudden, when he was serving tea, the butler dropped it. And then as we were looking around the room, we noticed that the Rothschild Fabergé egg worth $18.5 million was also missing. What are we going to do? There are 10 of us in the room. Who do you think murdered the butler and stole the egg? 
the owner of the mansion rushed home and he offered the egg as the prize for the person who would catch the culprit. So ladies and gentlemen, let us line up our suspects and see if we could find out who the murderer is. Before we start, I would just like to explain. Each character was given a card with the name, their age, and the gender. When it says, read this out loud on your turn, you read that part when I call your name. Okay, I'll be calling the name of the character that you're playing. The part that says, read this out loud if you get arrested. With that part, you have to wait for me to call you. Okay, so don't read the bottom part. <laughs> Just read the top part that says, read this out loud on your turn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the first guests at our dinner party were the chokers, Virgil and Eunice. Virg Virgil, are you there? Virgil Choker and Eunice Choker. So Virgil, tell I, us about yourself. I am Virgil Choker. I am 62 years old. You might have met my wife, beautiful wife Eunice. We worked together at the bank where the butler has been our customer for years. He would often come in and make very large deposits. I did not know he was a butler until tonight. I would have thought he was a big shot businessman from the size of his bank account. He was a very nice old man and I'm sorry to see him go. Thank you, Virgil. Accompanying Virgil to the dinner party tonight was his beautiful wife, Eunice. Eunice, would you like to share with us something about yourself? Um, okay, my name is Eunice Choker and I'm 55 years old. My husband and I work at the bank. The, but the butler has been going to our bank for years, but yesterday he withdrew almost all of his money. He was very old and looked sick. So I asked him if he was planning a big vacation with the money. He said, no, I'm giving it all away. Thank you, Eunice. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think either Virgil or Eunice could be the culprit? Imagine they're both bankers and they have access to money. And they knew the butler withdrew a large sum of money yesterday. Looking across the table, there was another couple at the table. And they were the vendor slices. Henry and Samantha. Henry, would you like to share with us something about yourself? My name is Henry van der Slijs. I'm 60 years old and I'm a private investigator. I've been investigating a case known as the Butler Burglar for more than 30 years. The man who died today was my prime suspect, but I was never able to gather enough evidence to make an arrest. Everyone at the station makes fun of me because I haven't been able to solve this case. Private detective, hmm. What about his lovely wife, Mrs. Samantha Vanderslice? My name is Samantha Vanderslice, and I am married to Henry Vanderslice. I have never met the butler, but I knew all about him from my husband. You see, my husband is a private detective and thought this butler was the butler burglar. He comes home every night upset because he hasn't been able to solve the case. I've hated seeing my husband so sad all the time. So I'm glad this audio is finally over. Hmm, the vendor slices, a private investigator, a housewife. 
You never know. We have other guests at the party as well. Britney Spears and Mortimer Stabinstein. Let's get to know them a bit better. Brittany, over to you. Well, you all probably know who I am. I'm the famous performance act artist, Britney Spears. The butler worked for me for a few weeks. Back when I was recording my second album, he was fired after my gold record collection was stolen. Actually, I fired my whole staff. But I was pretty sure he was the one who stole the records. I even hired a private detective, but he never proved the butler stole anything. Thank you, Brittany. And what about our friend, dear Mortimer? Mortimer, are you there tonight? Yes, I'm here. You may have noticed that I'm undergoing a sex change at the moment. <laughs> I'm 36 and I'm trying to be male. My name is Mortimer Stabinstein. That's my, my new name and I'm 36. I worked with the butler for Britney Speard until we and the rest of her staff were fired. It was the butler's fault that we all got the sack. I even saw him stealing Britney's gold records. Unfortunately, she fired everyone before I could tell her who did it. It took me a year to find another job because of him. The worst part is he got away with the crime. Thank you, Mortimer. And he could have gotten away with the Rothschild Fabergé egg, another $18.5 million, if it wasn't for someone in the room tonight. Who could it be? Let's meet the other guests in the room. Next, the Darth Mike and Baldwin Shoot Smart. Please welcome the Darth Mike. I am Dan, Darth Mike, and I'm 18 years old. I just the deliver guy. I don't know the Bartley but or any of you. I will say the old man gave me a really big tip, $1,000. Mm, he's, he's being mysterious. Did you notice he turned off his video when he was talking to you? Perhaps he has something to hide. Or maybe not. What about Baldwin Schutzmark? My name is Baldwin Susma and I'm 65 years old. The butler didn't work for me. I worked for him. He was a very rich man and I can't believe everyone thinks he's a, he was a real butler. Huh. I have worked for him for 30 years, cleaning his mansion from top to bottom. I didn't know how he make his money. He never told me. I guess it's time for me to find a new job. Thank you, Bowen. So ladies and gentlemen, who do you think is the murderer? Who done it? Oh. I notice there are two more guests in the corner. Let's get to know them first before we make up our mind, shall we? Let's see who have we got here. Ah, dear old Bob and Jigsaw Jane. Bob, where are you, Bob? Hello, my name is Bob and I'm 40 years of age. The man you know as the butler was my father. I am his only child and he never paid any attention to me. I grew up in his mansion where we had many butlers and maids. I never knew what he did for a living or how he made his millions. 
It's ridiculous that everyone here thinks that he was a real butler. He was a thief. When he invited me here tonight, he said he was sorry for leading such a horrible life. He told me that he was going to pay back everyone he had stolen from tonight. Do you believe him? What about Jigsaw Jane? What do you think, Jigsaw Jane? Oh, you're muted, Jigsaw Jane. Hi, I'm Jigsaw Jane, and I'm 70 years old. 30 years ago, the butler worked for me, and we fell in love. We had a son who I named Bob. After my son was born, the butler stole him and ran off. I never knew what happened to the butler or my son. I hired a detective to solve the crime, but it was no use. When the butler invited me here tonight, he said, he was going to make amends and that I would be able to finally see my son. Bob, I'm your mother. <laughs> oh, at least we reunited Bob with Jigsaw Jane. Oh, so touching. Ladies and gentlemen, who do you think done it? Who killed the butler and stole the eighteen and a half million dollar egg? I will now put a link in the chat for you. Please vote at Mentimeter who you think the murderer is. Could it be the chokers? the vendor slices, the person who got speared, shoot smart, step in Stein, Bob, Darth Mike, or perhaps Jigsaw Jane. Who do you think done it? I'll give you a few moments to think about it and to cast your vote. If you can type in the chat, please, D for done, once you've cast your words, and then excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Before we review who the murderer is, let's talk to some of the guests here tonight, who they think the murderer was. Let's ask Britney Spears. Who do you think the murderer was, Britney? Oh, I think it was Jigsaw Jane. Jigsaw Jane? Jane? Yeah, she has this vendetta, you know. Her son was taken away from her for so many years and she has built this anger within her and she has become a bit psycho, worse off than me. So definitely Jigsaw Jane. <laughs> definitely Jigsaw Jane. Who agreed? It's Jigsaw Jane. Jigsaw Jane, what have you got to say for yourself? So this is when you read the last part of ah, okay. the note. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me just get the note. Hold on. 
I hated the butler for years. But tonight, he was going finally to let me see my son. I'm no murderer. Arrest someone else. Hmm. She said it wasn't her, but do you believe her? Let's ask Virgil. Virgil, who do you think was the murderer? I think it could be his son, Bob, because Bob had an accomplice, Miss Buckley. So those two should have taken the money. That is my feeling. Hmm, who agreed? It's Bob. What do you have to say for yourself, Bob? Look, I was not close to my dad, but I'm not a murderer. Anyway, he was going to give back all the money to everyone he stole from tonight. Arrest someone else. It's not the mother, it's not the son. Who could it be? What do you think, Mortimer? Who done it? Oh, you're muted. Why, why would I kill my employer? That's crazy. Arrest someone else. Who's impersonating me? <laughs> Bowen impersonated you. <laughs> My name is Mortimer. I don't know what's going on here. I admit I hated the butler, but I didn't kill him. I think it was Brittany, because you saw what happened when she thought her damn gold, whatever it was, was stolen. She fired everybody. She's the one. Brittany, were you the one? What? No way would I risk my fame and commit a crime. Sorry, you got the wrong girl. Must be a guy out there. Process of elimination. Who's left? Who else would we suspect? What about Eunice? Who do you think was the murderer? Were you the murderer, Eunice? Limin. That's you. <laughs> um, I actually voted um Crystal, but no, uh, no. Then after that, I realized that it might be my husband, because he's she's the one that knows, um, you know, all the all of the money drawn out, and he has been, uh, he he has he's know that he's old and and sick. And yeah, so that's my mom guess. <laughs> Poor Virgil. I think you better divorce your wife, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> good guess, good guess. This is, you know. So Virgil, were you the murderer? No way. I'm a banker. I don't know how to kill. I know how to count the money only. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Who do you think would be? Let me just share the results first before we find out who the murderer was. Let's have a look. Who done it? <gasps> Jigsaw Jane. Look at how many people voted for you, Jigsaw Jane. 27% followed closely by Bowen. And then the rest of them were equal. Look at the couple, the chokers. Nobody thought they were the murderers, and yet they suspected each other. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to know who the real murderer was? Yes. Yes. Because before... it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> but before that, let me ask... There's one person who hasn't spoken. Henry Vanderslice. Was it you, Henry? Are you kidding? I'm a policeman. I believe in justice. I'm not a murderer. Arrest someone else. So who's left? Who's the murderer? <laughs> Let's talk to his wife, Samantha. That is right. I did it. 
I just couldn't stand seeing my husband so miserable all the time. And I would have gotten away if not for all of you. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your participation in the game tonight. A round of applause to everyone. I think see, all... I told you, see, I told you I'm not the murderer. I am Jane. I'm not the murderer. You don't believe me. <laughs> well done, well done Libaki. I really enjoyed it. Well that. done, everyone. So these are your rewards. Oh, nice wow. reward. Thank you. These Thank are you, your mom. rewards for participating in the game and for guessing or trying to guess who the merger <laughs> was. And then one egg for jigsaw jane because she was <laughs> the suspect <laughs> and then an egg for everyone else as well thank you everyone happy easter everyone and thank i you. hope you had an excellent time tonight back to you madam toastmaster of the day <laughs> thank you table topic master lee buckley so we all have we have the winners already right we are not doing any polling great so thank you everyone for a fabulous Friday night of toast mastering. I hope you enjoyed the night as much as I had. Remember, in our quest for excellence, let's start being an extra today. E-G-G dash S-T-R-A. Extra. And also thank you for sharing your insights on building your life of excellence with us tonight. Now, before I end this meeting, I'd like to tell everyone one thing. Just give me a minute. Yeah, Easter is the only time it's okay to put all your eggs in one basket. Can you see all the eggs? This is a quote by Evan Isa. So, before I end it, I would like to hand over to our president to say some motivational words for all of us tonight. Over to you, club president. He's not there. Club president. Willy, Willy, Willy. I'm not the murderer, Willy. Please make up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he may have gone to get his eggs. But anyway, <laughs> we will have a 10 minute break before we go to our third segment, the e karaoke segment with the Exercise dance routine by our Toastmaster Jennifer Lin. Yeah, so but I must, I must reconcile with my son, Bob. Bob. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Now that you're not the murderer, we will let you reconcile with your son, Bob. Okay? So be back in 10 minutes' time. Come back dressed in your exercise attire, water, and track shoes. See you in about 11.05. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.